Welcome to Let's Talk Frog. Okay, welcome to this episode of the Let's Talk Rock podcast. Today we are joined by fourth year medical science student from St. Catharines, Brent. Brent is also a part of Med Plus co-curricular program here at Brock University. Thanks for joining us today, Brent. Yeah, thanks for having me, Trisha. We are so excited just to hear a little bit about your Brock experience. So we're going to hop right into the questions today. Uh, first, what made you choose Brock and how did you decide on the medical science program? Yeah, so I mean, um, as you mentioned, I'm from Niagara, so um, I've kind of always been around Brock uh, growing up, whether that be, you know, just for you know school trips or camp or, or something like that. So Brock was always on my radar. And then um, I, I also knew, you know, science was something I enjoyed in high school and and health was an interest. So I was looking at those kinds of programs and and um, Brock really stood out to me uh, for uh, Med Plus, which I'm uh, I'm a member of was one of the big deciding factors, but also the medical science program. So um, I ended up uh, looking at some other schools, but deciding that you know what Brock could offer through its program and MedPlus were was the best choice for me, and specifically medical sciences because um, I looked at that in biomedical sciences, and I noticed the big difference was um, there's a lot more flexibility in medical science, and it was a lot more laid out in biomedical science. So where they where you had specific courses mapped out for you, like taking organic chemistry in second year and uh, biochemistry in third year. They were, those were science electives in medical science. So I could pick those courses and take them if I wanted to. But if I found, you know, I discovered something else that interested me, I could pick something else. So I chose that flexibility over the kind of having that path to, to med school laid out for me. Yeah, that's really cool. So you definitely had the opportunity to make the program your own. For sure, yeah. That's awesome. So you mentioned Med Plus. Um, can you explain what the program is as well as why you decided to get a part of that? Yeah, for sure. So um, Med Plus is a co-curricular program. So that means it goes alongside my degree and um, it's really tailored to uh, providing a student like myself with an interest in, in health and helping me kind of explore the careers out there uh, in the field and um, gain practical experience working with community partners um, through volunteering and, and things like that. Um, so uh, I decided to be a part of it because when I came out of high school, like I said, I, I knew I was interested in health, but I, I really had no idea career wise what I wanted to, to do. So. Uh, I thought maybe med medical school, I, I was interested in research, and I just really wanted to um, explore those opportunities. So I came in with a, a pretty open mind, just hoping to see what I could see. And um, that's something I was able to do through MedPlus and those speaker sessions, volunteering and job shadowing. Yeah, that's really cool. I've heard really awesome things. So really gave you that hands on experience and kind of did it help you kind of figure out where you wanted to go? Did it give you some insight? Yeah, so um, I uh, that was my goal was to see as many things as I could see. So if we had a speaker, say like uh, we had a chiropractor early in first year and that stood out to me as something that I thought would maybe interest me. So then I decided to follow that up with a job shadow and um, spend a day observing him at his clinic. And I ended up doing that for uh, a fair number of professions. So hearing the speaker going and seeing the job shadow and kind, kind of weighing them against each other and um, speech language pathology really stood out to me and that's kind of where I'm I'm leaning and I've applied now and hopefully we'll be going next year. Oh, that's really exciting. Um, well, good luck with that. Um, what does a typical week look like for you as a Brock student in person um, or online? Yeah, I think um, it, there's definitely uh, this year has <laughs> been anything but typical, um, but I'll do it kind of like what my life looked like when we could be at Brock because hopefully that's what um, things will look like next year, but uh, I, uh, in in the sciences, you you might be a little bit busier than some other programs. So I would typically take a full course load. So that'd be five courses um, with three hours of lecture in each course. So that would probably be three hours a day, but sometimes, you know, maybe one day is a little busier and maybe you get a day off or, or something like that. Um, and then, especially earlier on, the heavier science, not heavier, but like the, I took more hard science. So like biology and chemistry and things like that. And those came with labs. So that would be a three hour lab every other week. Um, so you'll have a time slot during the week, but you'll, there'll be an on off week. So um, there'll be one week where you actually go and you do it. And then I would always use that time to write my lab report in the, my off week. Um, and then um, through MedPlus, I would have 
um, two two-hour sessions a week. So one of those would usually be a speaker. So we'd hear maybe a physician come in and talk about their career. And then the second one's usually a workshop. So something towards maybe building a skill that we might use in our career or maybe prepping for postgrad interviews or, or things like that. Um, and then I tried to get involved outside of, you know, uh, classes as well. So um, I volunteered typically about two hours a week. So through MedPlus, I was able to get placements at the hospital. So I was in, I volunteered in the cancer center and the ICU there. Um, I've also volunteered with uh, the Brock Niagara Penguins wheelchair basketball team, which is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so I think, I guess my week is typically, you know, maybe three hours a day of class, uh, a lab or a seminar or two a week. Uh, and then just whatever I wanted to do outside of that with those like volunteerings or work or things like that, I always had time. So in other words, you are very busy. Yeah, I like to keep busy. I mean, I, I think, uh, I think um, your experience is what you make out of it in post-secondary and there's lots of opportunities to get involved with you know volunteering or clubs or, or things like that and really explore what what interests you so I've tried to take advantage of that yeah no that's really great advice for sure um especially in all programs there's definitely um the opportunity to get that hands-on experience so that's great um what is your favorite course so far that you've taken in medical sciences or just in general yeah so I think um my interests have kind of shifted from where I expected them to be so um I, I was interested in health coming in and I've enjoyed some of my health science classes, but where I really have benefited from picking the flexibility is that I ended up discovering that I, I liked some, you know, like psychology and neuroscience and and um, some of those uh, more directed towards my interests in like speech language pathology, like I mentioned. So I think um, a cool course I'm taking in health science right now is uh, mental health and addictions with Dr. Gardner. And I think it's really great. She uses a very experienced, like she focuses on experience and reflection in her course. So rather than just, you know, reading about mental health conditions and, and, you know, memorizing the symptoms and all of that, you really learn more so from what it's like to experience that and how you as a mental health practitioner could provide support. Um, and I think that's, that's really interesting and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, that's super cool. I didn't even know that was a course, so that's great. <laughs> um, what is one opportunity you have had while studying at Brock that you never thought was possible in high school? Yeah, I think just um, through MedPlus, how easy it's been to just get glimpses at all these possible careers, I think was something I never considered at all in, in uh, high school. So that would be just for me, like going and signing up through MedPlus, like, you know, just deciding, you know what, to this week, I want to see a, you know, a speech language pathologist, right? So I just go sign up and, and, um, you know, the following week, I'd be at like Hotel Du Shaver, seeing a speech language pathologist doing um, rehab out with a patient following a stroke, or maybe I'd be at the Niagara Children's Center working with, um, with early like autism assessment and things like that. So I think um, just how easy it's been through MedPlus to explore and see so much of what interested me, um, I thought was uh, was so cool. And I, I spent a lot of my first two years just seeing as much as I as much as I could. Yeah, that's great. You took advantage of every opportunity. That's awesome. Um, but you did mention your current career path that you're on and how you decided on that with MedPlus. But what would be your end goal? What are you hoping once school's over yeah um i'm still kind of kind of working that out uh i know like i have the option to be a clinician so that could be working as a speech language pathologist in a setting like you know schools or or adult or childhood rehabilitation um things like that uh but i'm also considering uh considering maybe academics as well so another cool experience i had at brock was iquip so that is um like a uh, program focused on engaging students in healthcare quality improvement. So looking at how we can evaluate the the services and, and procedures we offer in healthcare and improve them to maybe be more safe or more effective or more patient centered. Um, and I've really enjoyed that, seeing how you can get inspired change so quickly and really look to uh, have a hands-on approach to bettering care. So that's something that interests me as well. And I'm exploring um, 
maybe uh, focusing on quality improvement research in that field as well. So, so we'll see. I'm still open, and and even though you know I maybe found that career path and I'm about to graduate from Brock, I still have some exploring to do as I go. So. Yeah, no, there's lots of options. That's cool. Um, and finally, what are some of the student services that you have found most beneficial to you in your time at Brock? Yeah, a big one in the sciences is definitely um, there's a lot of great services offered by A to Z learning. So that's like the the learn the kind of like academic assistance uh, program at Brock. So um, specifically science drop in has been super helpful uh, as well, especially earlier on in my degree. So for a lot of um, first and second year students like myself, we popped into to the drop in, which was just a, a room um, off of the market on campus. And um, it was always um, staffed with, you know, third and fourth year students from my program who had taken the courses, know, knew what I was going through, could offer me, you know, tips and tricks for how they got through an assignment or how they studied or things like that. And that was super helpful um, for me early on. And now that I'm a, a fourth year myself, like I, I know like truly what those, you know, tutors put into it because a lot of them now are my um, are my friends who who really care about helping those students out. So I think, yeah, drop in is a is a, a really important service uh, that was really helpful in the sciences. Yeah, that's great. So um, definitely make use of uh, the services, get involved in Med Plus. You've offered us so much good um, information today. Thank you so much for joining and sharing your broadcast. Yeah, yeah if I could just um, like leave a little reminder yeah. that you know, if you're interested in med plus you can always reach out to um the med plus program at med plus at brock .ca is our email and um if you send that and you have some questions you can always talk to a student like myself who um who can share our experiences or or just kind of work you through what you're what you're wondering and um the med plus application is open now and closes on april 15th so <laughs> if you're interested take the time to maybe think about it, ask some questions, and then look at applying. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with us and teaching us all about um, the medical sciences program as well as MedPlus today. No problem. Thanks, Trisha. <laughs> Bye, Brent. Bye. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, you can contact us by email at futurestudent at brocku.ca.